Hello my friends, uh, this is Paul and welcome to A Calm Touch of Fantasy. Uh, today we are reviewing Fuzzy Nation by John Scalzi. Uh, Fuzzy Nation is a highly popular book from science fiction writer John Scalzi that I think is worth reading, but don't let the hype uh, get to you too much. Uh, tuck this one away in your TBR until you're immune to the hype, and also make sure that you're in the mood for Scalzi's snarky uh, male characters. Uh, I think a solid used pickup or a library pickup for this book is my recommendation. In the description box below is my written review and also a link to the book on Goodreads. Fuzzy Nation follows Jack Holloway, a natural resource surveyor that just hit it big with a big find. Jack also finds out that there are intelligent creatures on this planet that might be sentient. If these creatures, named Fuzzies, end up being actual people, then all mining on this planet must stop. A lot of people are involved with this mining operation, so Jack must decide between defending the fuzzies in court or actually putting money in his wallet. Okay guys, expect the following from Fuzzy Nation. Number one, cute, adorable, fuzzy creatures. Bottom line, they are so cute and they're great. Um, if you're an animal person, you're gonna like these fuzzy creatures. Uh, number two, a simple plot that is made complex by the complexities of human greed. Uh, what is more important to organizations and people? Is it to make more money than they ever wanted or to help the people that are being marginalized? Uh, number three, there are some great courtroom scenes with excellent lawyering skills going on, uh, some great dialogue scenes, and the court case has enough twists and turns to make it interesting. Number four, there is a lot of male egotism in this book. It seemed like every male in this book was trying to be the alpha male. And number five, on what to expect, expect Scalzi's typical snarky main character that has an issue with authority. You know, Scalzi writes fun science fiction that's a great entry point for people that want to try science fiction. His books are always funny, but his characters can be kind of the same. Most of his male characters have issues with authority, uh, they're snarky, they're sarcastic, and they're all about the one-liners. So if that's something that you might not like, then uh, Fuzzy Nation might not be for you. Uh, Fuzzy Nation is probably one of the few Scalzi books that I would recommend to people that are just starting Scalzi. Um, as someone that has read seven other Scalzi books, I found this one to be uninspiring a little bit. Uh, just because I'm at the point now where I want Scalzi to prove to me that he can write a character a little different than the uh, snarky, sarcastic main character. I was disappointed with the uh, characters in this book. There aren't many strong interpersonal relationships, and I like that in books. And I think Scalzi was more worried about the delivery of the characters than the actual characters themselves. I think maybe the hype of this book kind of got to me a little bit too much. I know quite a few people that really love this book, and so I was expecting a little bit more out of it. I think the responsibility really is on myself to have picked a better time to read this, so that when I read it, the hype wouldn't really get to me, and that my expectations were more reasonable. I did really like this, though. I gave it a uh, 3 out of 5. Uh, the male egotism, the lack of likable characters, and the typical Scalzi main character uh, kind of turned me off this time. Uh, for plot, I gave it a 4. It was strong. For characters, I gave it a 2. For setting and world building, I gave it a 3. For writing style, I gave it a 2. And for heart and mind aspect, I gave it a 2. I enjoyed it, but I didn't enjoy it as much as I would have liked. I hope that if you guys read Fuzzy Nation by John Scalzi that you'll like it a little bit more than I do. And uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys in the comments.